Old Faithful Geyser Bathrooms. What do you think that's supposed to mean? It's a very therapeutic breeze and just the right temperature this morning. It's super nice. This has been our home for the last two nights. Been a great stay. Ready to check out. Getting some more subway today. A lot more people this morning. Oh yeah, it's the weekend. It's Saturday. I'm not sure where we are, but we stopped because everybody else seems to have stopped here. It's like an unreal scenery. Look at the, how open this place is and look at the, the ground down there. This place totally looks like something out of a Salvador uh, Lama. Salvador Dali. There you go. <laughs> I almost forgot my art history. This place totally look, looks like a Salvador Dali painting. I kind of feel like Salvador was here when he uh, got some of his inspirations for his paintings. The sulfur's blowing straight in my face. Smells like fresh eggs. I felt my right kneecap uh, twitch a little bit. I hope it's not gonna pop. We better start walking today. We'll probably only walk for like a minute or two. Um, I'm not feeling all that great. My knees, actually, I'm feeling like physically, I'm feeling great. <laughs> My knees is kind of worrying me a bit about uh, driving later today. Headed down into the volcanic tableland. That sounds fun, right? Who doesn't want to go into the volcanic tableland? The whole ground is covered in like volcanic clay. view of the village center right here next to uh, Old Faithful. We made it. We finally made it. Waiting for Old Faithful to pop. Looks like some rodeo show or something going on down here. Oh, we made it on the later half. That's good. We didn't, we didn't have to wait too long for it. So it goes off every 96 minutes. Time, they say 105. Yeah. We have three more minutes to go. like that it's over this is what a yurt looks like stopping here at what's called uh, Grant Village Grant Village is supposed to be at the edge of the west thumb part of Yellowstone Lake I'm trying to see if we can catch a glimpse of the, the lake if my camera seems a little jagged when i'm walking because i'm limping both my knees on the outer side of both knees are really cramping up 
really hurt and walking like stiff-legged, keeping my knees straight. Finally found West Thumb. There's a geyser basin right here, right above the lake. Thin crust area. Maybe we can go into the center of the earth from here. in one of these geysers and freeze it. <sighs> oh, nice and warm. The steam's fogging up the camera, but it feels great. <laughs> nice pole design. I think we can get a pole like this. What do you think? The scene behind me is so gorgeous. We just had to stop and take uh, some photos and hike. And then uh, there's also a Lewis Fall back that way. Good job, Lewis. All those people from the tour bus over there are piling out and they found a little It can only look this amazing in the fall with all the fall colors and the, the golds and the greens and the reds all mixed into one. Look at this. River, and this perfect sky, perfect clouds and mountains. You can just stay here forever. Here I am at the Yellowstone South entrance. Heading Bison. That's pretty dangerous. Don't do this at home, kids. Got a little off route taking a short stop here at the Teton Lake, checking out these gorgeous mountains. Look at this beach. Look at this place. We have it all to ourselves. Yikes. This is gorgeous. Checked in here at the Residence Inn in Idaho Falls and you guys have to check this place out. Look at how amazing this is. Everything looks brand new. We have a kitchen, nice big uh, fridge, have a dishwasher, TV, workstation, sofa. This place is awesome. Good job Idaho. Best uh, hotel that we stayed at this whole trip. Love the decorations. The quality is amazing. It's brand new. It's brand new. All right, I'm dead tired, but I just want to show this to you guys.